here with Mike Rode in the Sapphire, the man, the myth, the legend. He's got a new gadget he wants to talk to us about. Yeah, it's a new restoration wand, and uh, what we've done is uh, we've made a convex surface here, and we this uh, this back lip is pronounced, and the bottom is uh, kind of uh, a little less uh, elevated. And what you do is you put this on the carpet, and it. A water damaged carpet. Uh, yeah, water damaged carpet, and this acts like a squeegee. And you you push this forward, push the water up, squeegees it up, this vacuums it out. And then when you get to uh, the point where the carpet's just about uh, dry, you're going to have to actually use this vacuum brake a little bit. <laughs> to get the wand off the floor. Yeah, to get the yeah. wand off the floor. It, it really hangs onto the carpet. And uh, you actually pick the carpet up until you break down. Wow, what's the price point going to be on this, Mike? Uh, Mike, I'm an engineer. Yeah. I have no idea. One ninety nine ninety five for two yeah, of them, mostly, right? Yeah, for you. Beautiful. Well, that's pretty clever. Yeah. I'm sure Studebaker will be happy with that. Yeah, I think that it's the ultimate as far as, uh, as a restoration wand. I was t testing it yesterday, and uh, we were pulling water clear up from the back of the carpet. The Holy cow. Mike, was this another one of your creations over here? You, maybe you can tell us about the engineering that went involved in that. Yeah, these kind of goes together. No, no, no. I meant her. Oh. She's here working the Sapphire booth. Yeah. Sorry, man. I didn't want to give you a heart attack yeah. or anything. <laughs> Are you here representing Sapphire? Yes, of course. Yeah. What do you know about carpet cleaning, ma'am? Hey, well, you know. Do you hire carpet cleaners or? Make sure when you do hire a carpet cleaner that you have one of these blue trucks come out. Oh. Not that blue truck over there or that red truck, but you want the sapphire unit. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Grandpa, get back to the right. subject at hand. What do we got here? This, this is a restoration machine. Just extraction, right? Just extraction. Holy cow. What do you got hiding down there? Hey, Rick! <laughs> Holy now, mama. What we got is a... Uh, you know, hundred bucks and it's all yours, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you dare, John? You want any more support yeah. for your machine? <laughs> what machine? <laughs> this is a uh, industrial pump out. That's like what you put in a French drain, right? Yeah, you live in right. a high water content area? Exactly. Yeah. It pumps out 40 gallons a minute. 40? Holy cow. And then underneath we've got two vacuums and then we've got a HEPA filter uh, right here. So we don't wow. spread bacteria around inside the house. What's this little cap? That's just and your that's, vacuum that's port? That's your drain. Oh, okay. Yep. Auto, it seems it's a pump, yeah, you said pump out. Yeah, wow. if you want to drain it without turning the pump out on, you can use that. How much is this thing? Simmons. Tom, you how much are these? <laughs> hey, Tom. Hey, Mike, how are you? All right, Tom Fielding. How much is this thing? How much is it? Yeah. Well, I got you all stuck. I don't stuck. know, I just John, sold 18 of them last uh, Friday. They are... Um, um, Twenty-nine ninety-five. Seems reasonable for all you can do with that. Pretty clever. What else is new over here? We well, already did the Pro uh, 1200 uh, video last week. Yeah, yeah, that was way cool. Any changes to the truck mount lineup? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the 870 is belt driven now. This guy, belt driven. This guy, Mike Pelliotte, didn't like direct couplers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the reason for it. Yeah, so now um, everything's uh, uh, basically belt driven and completed line is uh, what you see. Well, what about this tank here? I don't remember this from last year. That's a sub mount tank for um, <clears throat> if you need to carry water. How many count? So that, these are, oh yeah, okay, so this is just a metal front. Metal. So you got sort of a U shaped. Yeah, this is a metal uh, support, and then the uh, 
you've got a, a 70 gallon tank here. 70 fresh water. Yeah, and all the units sit on top of that, okay? You can put any of any one of them. on that. Yeah. It's a, well, universal. you could almost get two rages on there, side yeah. to side. Well, <laughs> almost. There's, there's a limit to the width, but. Uh, oh, you could almost fit this guy on there. Well, two of me. Two of you, back yeah. to back. <laughs> Remember the love toilet on Saturday Night Live where they had the, the yin-yang shaped toilet so you could go together as a couple? <laughs> Don't remember that? So you got a cover on the, uh, can't see the... The engine? Hey, what's with the general pump? Getting yeah, away from cats? General pumps on all of them. Oh, nice. And uh, we did that. Our testing just uh, turned out really well with the general and... They're working real closely with us, so we went to general on all of our pumps. So is this replacing the old 2500 unit? I notice it's not in the truck here anymore. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you're not doing the extractor only. So this is your whole lineup, Rage, 370, 454? Uh, we, we have, the, we have, our, well, you we got have the, our big gulps. Uh, the big gulp, yeah, that's what I was saying. big gulp, absolutely. Okay. Uh, the big gulps still available, both the, uh, with the 410 and 408 engines. Those are still available out there. Uh, so a lot of flood extraction guys for that, and then uh, Pro 1200s right over there. I mean, we just have probably the most full line, well, the full lineup of, of truck mounts out there. Anything you need, we have it. So how many 870s you got in the field now? I don't know. What do we think we got out there? Uh, there's, there's probably 50 of them out there. Really? Yeah. 49 of them in Australia? <laughs> yeah, Australia put quite a bit out, man. <laughs> they like their units big we, down there, huh? We've taken a couple of Hydromasters back that oh, yeah. there was issues, and we replaced them with these. Speaking of Hydromaster, this is the Hydromaster truck. Yeah, uh, there's one over here. And there's, oh, they are here, okay. Yeah, they are here. So, Mike, I heard they, they, they did, uh, I don't know about your, you said that I was responsible for changing your... From the coupler to the belt, I don't know about that, but hopefully I had something to do with narrowing those dang handles. Yeah, well you did. Uh, I remember sending Bill a photograph of some wall drywall I yeah, screwed up on the job. We turned them down. You, you turned them in, right? Turned turn them back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mike says he thinks that might have reduced it by what three inches? Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. And then you're going to a you're going to a clear tube. It's not there yeah, yet. We went to a clear tube on them. And we, we changed this part to a different type different of plastic. Different height, yeah. yeah and no, then we changed the, the uh, wheels. None yeah, of these are updated. I have the wheels at home. Okay. They're a huge improvement. Yeah. They don't grab yeah, they dirt. Don't, they, they roll easier. And there's no noise yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. So. No changes to the, the, to the head, right? No, no changes to the gearbox. Okay. Uh, the heads are pretty much. Uh, Same thing. Yep. Oh, no, well, you got. Is this standard now, the three long ones? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I'll have to get a third one off you because I'm running two side to side. Yeah. No, but put, yeah, that's put three in there. Put three. And that'll take care of everything, Mike. I think some people are actually just plugging these two off. Yeah. I, everybody's that's trying something I, different. That's what I did. I plugged these two yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, you told me about that. Go with it. Awesome. Well, this thing's pretty cool. That's a, that's a really yeah. uh, it's the, innovative one. The back friendly water claw. Yep. All right, thanks, Mike. Thank you.